I f***ed this up. Oh. No. Might. Might. What am I? La 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 la. So here's how this works. We have three students studying for a master's of music technology and production. One of them is me. Everyone had a chance to listen to each microphone beforehand for as long as they needed to. Now the goal is to get every one of the five microphones correct and then to give each microphone a score out of 10. You have one lifeline. You can ask about the frequency response and where each microphone is boosted whenever you like. The microphones that we have today are the LCT441 Flex, the Rode NT1, the Rode NT1A, the AT2020, and the $25 newer NW800. Okay, look, this video took forever to edit. So if you're ever going to like or share any one of my videos, let this be the one because apparently the algorithm gods love likes. <laughs> yeah, thank you so much. I'm a small channel, uh, but I really like this video. So if you could share it and like it, I would really appreciate it. Also, you'll notice a few references in the video uh, to microphones that happened previously. We filmed this out of order for every different person. If we filmed it all in the same order for everyone, then we would each know the order of the microphones and we would get it all right. So if you happen to see a clip where somebody says, oh, in the previous microphone, I blah, 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 even though it's the first microphone, that's why. Stick around till the end of the video to hear the cumulative score of each microphone uh, out of 30. 10 points for each person. Without further ado, let's meet the producers and get right into it. When I was a kid, I I can feel my right eyeball way more than my left one. Does what that mean that my right eyeball is sticking out more? What do you mean you can feel it? You, you can feel it if you want. Feel my this no, eyeball. I don't want to feel it. Are we recording there? We are recording. Am I looking at the camera right now? You're looking a little bit to the right of the camera. Or, well, my right, your left. No. Hey, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the show where I lose all form of credibility. I feel like I'm right up on it. Um, you are yeah. not at all. Okay. Yeah. Oh, that was almost a head on collision. Oh, really? Did I yeah. almost headbutt it again? Yeah, <laughs> Pretty like flat up top. I feel like it's not spiking like the cheap one did, if that was the cheap one. <laughs> okay, this has a really nice sound. Um, yeah, a little bit more sibilance. Check one, two, one, two, what, two, what, oh, okay, so. You know, I'm, I'm not sure because I feel like there is there is a fair bit of rejection and, and the output sounds a little lower. Uh, okay. Yeah, you're, you're about it's not the AT2020. Cause I don't get that beefy low end. It's not the NW800 cause it's not killing me. I don't think it's, I think it's either the NT1A or the, or the Lewitt. It sounds really nice. There's barely any air noise. Like there's no room noise. It's just getting my voice and the sibilance clearly, but not in a way that's irritating. This sounds uh, a little softer than the previous microphones, which is making me think this might be the Lewitt. I, I do remember the Lewitt having a really clear sound. Cause it has like a brighter sound profile. And I feel like the NT1 and the AT2020 have like a lower, m lower like mid range to like mid response. And I usually hear it a lot in my voice and I don't hear it in this. Uh, I don't know though. I'm gonna guess the Lewitt. You have like way more detailed reasoning you're choosing these mics. I mean, <laughs> but they're, that's what, uh, they're all b because I'm sure I just got it wrong. I'm just going to, I'm going to say this is the, this is the Lewitt because I haven't guessed that yet. This mic sounds really nice compared to some of the other ones. Although there was one that I liked better than this. I'm going to say six, six and a half, six and a half. This better not be the new one, man. I'm going to give this a 7.5. Uh, the last time... I was really, really critical. Like my ratings are in general like two or three points lower than other people's. I'm gonna give it a five out of 10. Five, 10 out of 10 is like my favorite microphones, which are like a 414 or like a like a, um, a Coles or something. Next mic. I've been wearing this sweater for four days. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, like, audio <laughs> haze. <laughs> You're kind of tan, man. I'm looking really? at your arms right now. No, it's just the light. Is it the light? 
It and is pretty probably warm. underbelly and like a shark. I don't know. You're like a, a red-headed white man, so any amount of color is <laughs> it sounds like a almost like a shark breed. <laughs> a great white shark and the red-headed white fin. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well. <laughs> Whoops, I'm sorry. I'm hearing more room noise. I feel like it's still not at the level that, that the cheap mic would be. It's, 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 it's more bitey sibilins too. Uh, uh, ow, that hurt more. The sibilance is more pronounced, and if I remember right, the ones that have more pronounced sibilance and plosives, apparently, are the NT1 and the NT1A. Oh boy. Hmm. Okay, so I'm hearing, ooh, there's a little bit of sibilance. There's a lot of sibilins, right? Um, a lot of high end, but I, I feel like I remember the newer being even, even more harsh on the high end. So I don't think this is the newer. It's brighter than the last one. It sounds clearer. Like it sounds like a more accurate image. It's getting more of like the little mouth noises produced by like my tongue moving around and. Shit. Wait, am I allowed to say? Shit? I don't know. I feel like my NT1 doesn't have as harsh of a sibilant as this. And I know that the NT1A boosts high end more. Although the NT1 can get kind of shitty on the sibilants too. I'm kind of stuck. I, I, I like that little newer fear in me is like, it's, it's saying like, it's the newer, it's okay. Yeah, I think it's newer. Whenever I touch the S, it's like, it, it just spikes at that point. I want to say it's the cheap one, but if I'm wrong, it's going to be so I know, bad. Right? Ah! I know, mean right? <laughs> uh, Yeah, I'm going to say it's the cheap one. I know, I know in like two microphones, I'm going to hear it and be like, okay, this is the cheap one. I'm going to guess the NT1A because of the sibilance, because the AT2020, the SM57, and the NT1 are all really great for my register. I just don't feel like that register is being as complimented right now. So I'm going to go with the NT1A and I'm going to give it a five out of 10 again. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'll give it a six. I'll give it a six. It's just pretty clear. Okay, just based on how what I'm hearing, uh, I'm gonna give this a four out of ten. No, three point five. Three point five out of ten. Regardless of the distance, like when I'm even when I'm here, it it comes in like the S comes in pretty pretty harshly. Next, so, like, my. I bet that wasn't the cheap one. I can't zoom in on you because well, I can zoom in to a certain degree, but then if I get just too close, the camera just zooms in your, on your like mouth. Oh, no, my, oh, what am I? La 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 la. Where is? Okay, so first impressions, there's a lot of high end information. Um, I'm hearing a lot of like mouth detail. I think, hmm. Like a little bit more of a boxy sound than I normally would on the NC1. I think this is the 802020. Yo. This sounds like my microphone. I'm gonna say NT1A. I honestly, I, I can't tell you like exactly what it is in the frequency response or anything like that. Like it just, it just sounds like mine. I wanna say NT1A. I, I, I feel like I can hear the high end and uh, you can get a lot of detail about the mouth. Like when I'm moving my tongue like. Cause it has like a 5K thing, 6K thing, which is where the box sound is yeah i think it's the at2020 i've been recording a lot of acoustic guitar with my microphone recently and like when i'm sound checking it i basically make these noises like am i being too confident fuck what if it's <laughs> what if i'm like yeah this is my microphone and then it's just not i look like an ass hat um four and a half out of ten a five out of ten seven point five lord i hope i was right Do -do -do -do. How are you? Okay, straight up, I'm hearing less high end, less sibilance. Again, to me, that's what I'm perceiving. I feel like it's higher than the sibilance frequency, like extreme highs, not the piercing sibilance of like S sounds. I'm not hearing a lot of room noise, so I don't think it's, I don't think it's the bottom of the bunch. I don't know, man. This is such a shot in the dark. Okay, you're kind of. Uh, yeah, uh, this is not the sound profile. Of the, this is not the sound profile I expected to hear. Um. Well, I guess I'm gonna guess the NT1, um, but I. You could do what I did and guess like. AT2020 again. I think this is, the, AT2020. I don't know. It's just a guess. I, I'm full disclosure. I'm I'm gonna guess for most of these. I think, <laughs> except for the mic that I 
personally own and the really cheap one. It's sounding pretty pleasant. I feel like this might be the AT2020. So I'm gonna I'm gonna guess NT1, even if I'm wrong. Oh mate, yeah, NT1. I'm gonna give it a six and a half or a seven somewhere. I don't know. Five and a half. I would say six out of ten. I think it uh, this one and the first one sounded the best to me. So maybe I'll bring the first one up to six out of ten too. I have legitimately sweaty palms. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why. There's nothing riding on this. Hello. Oh no. This on? Ah, no, it did. That, that, this is bad. Oh yeah. Yeah, this is the NW800. It hurts me. Okay. Sh I f this up. I know what this is. I know what this is. <laughs> it sounds like you took a condenser microphone and a walkie talkie and they uh, and then they made an NW800 because it's not as bad as a as a walkie talkie, but it has like the walkie talkie gene in it. And then it's not as nice as a condenser, but it's like, like you know, it like dresses like a condenser. I was wrong earlier. This one has so much room noise. God damn it. Okay, wait, so I can't guess the same one again, right? Yeah, I you have can to switch. Okay. I feel like this is the cheap one. It sounds really, really bright. Like I can hear a lot of just air moving around. So I think it's the cheap one. So the one that you called the cheap one the first time was the second mic. What do you want to switch that one to? I don't know. <laughs> I suppose you could leave it and just like cover your ground. What do you mean? You could have two answers be the same knowing one of them will be wrong. Yeah, so I, I'm comfortable with that. I'm more comfortable with that than trying to change the guess I made earlier. What was the, um, what was the spike on the AT2020? I'm I using my know. lifeline. Yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah, I forgot about it too. We have lifelines? I told you that in the beginning. <laughs> uh, the highest peak is around eight and a half K, but it's still only peaking at like three decibels. The uh, NT1 had a pretty flat response, right? NT1 is near f perfectly flat until around the Slight eight, drop off, right? Yeah, 8K to 9K has like a 3 dB, and then it has a high cut at like the 15K and a low cut at the like 20 hertz range. Hmm. I'm not so sure. Because on paper, it, it that should mean that microphone four would have been the AT2020. I'm thinking about changing four. Uh, I'm gonna switch the second one. Two. To an NT1. Okay. I'm gonna switch number four to the AT2020, and this is the new one. That much I'm sure about. <laughs> All right, NW800. I th yeah, I think this is the cheap one, and I'm giving it a five, or maybe a four. It's really, I don't like the way it sounds. Yeah, it's like a solid two out of 10. Okay. It's a three out of 10. No, two out of 10. But bad. still usable. Don't feel like you have to spend a lot of money. I already did a whole video on the NW800. I'll link it. You can make really usable stuff. You just have to treat it and get all the harsh high end out with an EQ. Thank you for listening. You sure about all your answers? Yeah, I'll lock them in. All right, you may remove your blindfold, sir. So what did I get? You got... I should have said AT2020 twice. You got the Lewitt right. Uh-huh. You got the NW800 right. Uh-huh. And that's it. <laughs> Thank you. You may remove your blindfolds. I may remove my blindfolds. Please get this right. Please get this right. Yes! <laughs> oh. Oh. I don't have to toss out my degree. Well, cool. are, you, are you ready for the, the real sinker, though? You had pretty much every single one right until you made that swap. Come <laughs> on! If you had just made the fourth one, the NT1, you would have got 100%. Instead of swapping the NT2, yeah. Damn, okay. I could have gotten like, five, man. Yeah, this is a lesson to everyone. Go with your gut. <laughs> Go with your gut. Ah, I got fooled by the papers, man. Ugh. Well, you can take off your mask. Okay. You got four right. No. Yeah. No way. You got four right. You just didn't guess the NT1. You guessed the NW800 <laughs> twice. NW800 for the NW800. And then you also guessed the NW800 for the NT1. Yep. So okay. four out of ten. Holy four Freaking insane. I mean, a lot of that was guesswork. <laughs> it's not like I'm a savant. I was genuinely Wait, surprised. so yeah. maybe I shouldn't trade my... Maybe I shouldn't try and get an NT, NT1 instead of an NT1A then, since I rated my mic higher than the NT1. I guess not. Yeah, I in guess a blind maybe, test. Maybe you're just used to the sound, so you... 
you were comfortable with it. Yeah, I also, I also yeah. wasn't like singing into these though. So yeah. I'm very surprised at that result. Pleasantly so. Dude, isn't that like a... So if this video happened to convince you of one of these microphones and you're going to go buy it, there's going to be an affiliate link pinned in a comment down below. That's how this channel makes money for the time being. The small amount of money that it does make. I would just really appreciate it if you use those links. So in first place with 20 out of 30, because we were pretty harsh reviewers, the Lewitt. 20 out of 30. Second place goes to the AT2020 with 18 and a half out of 30. Third goes to the NT1A with 17 out of 30. The NT1 got 14 and a half out of 30. And then in dead last, the $25 microphone, eight out of 30. I think the NT1 had such a low score because of its siblings has a really harsh sibling, surprisingly so. And that is all. Just thank you so much. And I will see you in the next one.